Okay, so I was on MySpace today and some girl added me and her just name it was all, um, you know, name here, block my hater. Um, which makes me think back to my hate mail blog and, you know, basically all the hate mail blogs I've seen on MySpace because I guess they're kind of popular now. Yeah, everyone has them. And, you know, people take it differently. Some are genuinely hurt by the stuff they get and some just shrug it off and move on, you know. I get a lot of hate mail. And it makes me wonder if, you know, do you really have that much time to sit on someone's MySpace and pick out every single flaw? Like, thanks, Captain Obvious, you know. whoop de doo You picked out something that's not perfect. I'm not perfect, you know. Um, I've had just about every single label thrown on to me. Um, you know, scene, emo, goth, slut, rep, um, poser. I don't see the point in that. You know, when we were all 11, we thought it was cool to call yourself something because you were trying to fit in. And, you know, we're not 11 anymore, guys. If you're on MySpace, you're 14, or I guess 13 now, because I see that all the time. Um, I guess MySpace changed it or something. But, you know, do you really need a specific, a specific stereotype to get yourself noticed? You know, what's wrong with being you? Um, a lot of people also think I'm arrogant, that I'm conceited. I have to break it to you, I'm not obsessed with myself. Um, I don't think I'm some sort of MySpace goddess because I have 30,000 friends. The Amazing Sushi has more than me and I'm just a piece of dead fish. And if you don't know who The Amazing Sushi is, then you suck. But, <laughs> for those of you turning on my legs, okay, so you think I'm ugly. I wear too much makeup, you know, I look 12. I can't remember all the things people listen to my looks. Right now, I don't want to say this is how I always look, because I look different day to day, but when I'm around the house, I'm not trying to impress, you know? I look different when I go out, and I'm pretty sure all of us do. I may not be the prettiest girl out there, but I have an okay opinion on myself, and I'm not looking for your approval to be happy. Well, I'm fine how I am. I'm not going to say you're just jealous of me, because I've seen people that I don't find attractive, and I can guarantee I'm not jealous. But I'm not going to go out of my way to damage someone else's self-esteem. Because kids who say they're going to beat me up, you live on the other side of the country, I'm not scared of your e-threats. What are you going to do? Fly to North Carolina and curb stomp me? Okay, I don't think you're brutal. I don't, I'm not scared. I'm not scared. You don't know where I live. You're not going to track me down and find me, unless you're some kind of fucking psycho. <laughs> Hey, I've gotten comments from people who think I'm pretty amazing, or I'm the hero, or I'm their idol, or whatever. I don't see why. I think Alexi Lush is a whole lot cuter, but I'm just a person. I'm a stubborn, 15-year-old girl who doesn't want shit to get to me. And why should I? Why should I let someone's false judgment get to me, you know? Like, you don't know me, and you based, you know, you have a bad opinion on me that you based yourself. And we've never talked. How are you going to know me? You know, that's total bullshit. You don't know me. Like, stop acting like you do. The only way that you would actually know me is if we had a conversation. And, you know, I do try to reply to everyone, so I don't see how that's a problem. If you really do hate me that much, delete me, block me, move on with your life. Be the bigger person and grow up, so. You can leave your input on this video or tell me on MySpace. I check that more than I do YouTube anyway. I'll put it in the sidebar, so thank you.